Okay, there's Dave, and right. we are at where? We are at Vita, Vita Vu in Wyoming. Um, National Forest, big old rocks. As you can see right there, we're gonna go do a little hike. Maybe fly the drone a little later. There's the parking area. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. One nice thing about the, this kind of camera is that it's stabilized. Unlike my other camera, which goes rum, 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 rum. Yeah, yeah. Your, your videos have definitely improved over the years. Yeah, I think so. At least I hope so. Heck yeah. After you. So you've never hiked this one, right? Or you have? I have. Oh, okay. But it was many years ago, so I don't remember. Okay. So we could easily get lost here. Huh. I gotta get a, a selfie here. Okay. okay. There you go. Look at those aspens. Okay. By the way, for anybody watching this video, he's my brother from another mother. GPS? GPS. I'm gonna set my GPS. I have a GPS too. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool up there. So cool. And Dave, who usually is very fast, is doing something. I hear footsteps. Coming by. Oh, I thought it was Bigfoot. <laughs> Are you impressed? I am. Oh, wow, look at that. You could probably see 5,000 different kind of faces and things in the rocks, huh? It's very cool. Okay, well, I'm ready. So what do you think about uh, the drone? Could you fly the drone from here? Sure. Well, let me stop the time lapse right here. Do you see those guys coming up the trail to the right? They were really nice and friendly and um, asked a bunch of questions, told them about my YouTube channel, and they took off, and I'll continue the time lapse. Well, I stopped the time lapse again. As you can see, they came back and asked me for a card for my YouTube channel, and I said, sure. All this time, thinking that the drone would be staying in place because it has GPS. Well, well, here is the drone footage that um, I took just before those guys showed up. 
and as you can see in just a second here that um, it stays in place for quite a while I do turn around and do this panoramic thing where I showed the rocks and then I headed off towards a pond and that's when they started me and I stopped flying the drone and you do that just by releasing the sticks and what you're gonna see shortly is what happened to the drone when you lose GPS connection Okay, well there's the pond and you'll see here shortly that I kind of go towards it a little bit and uh, that's basically when those guys stopped the second time and asked me for my business card. I also wanted to say after the crash that is coming up that um, the SD card that was recording everything was corrupted so um, it took me quite a while to recover it and uh, it couldn't be recovered in 4k the best I could do is 1080 so that's why it looks a little off I believe Well, believe it or not, Dave and I looked for it for about an hour and a half to two hours, and we couldn't find it. So we were pretty discouraged. We turned around, went back to the car, and then we drove back to Fort Collins, Colorado, which is where Dave lives. I dropped him off, and within a matter of seconds, I got a call from a really nice guy named Rich Adams who is like a retired archaeologist and he, the first thing he said was did you happen to lose a drone and I said hell yeah well to make a long story short uh, I was in Fort, Fort Collins and he was in Laramie Wyoming we met halfway in the middle and he returned my drone t to me and I want to thank him profusely and say that he's a really great person for doing that. Happy ending. As you can see, the drone is just drifting with the wind and that's because there was no GPS to keep it stabilized and in place. And it was fairly windy out that day. So here comes the crash. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Here. I want you to video me against here. Just to change it up a little bit. So Dave's taking the video. So hi, Dave. Eric. Okay, well, yeah, as you can see, being the boulder freak that I am, I had to do this. All right, there we go. Just a little change up, okay?